Oh, hi. How you doing? Let me just uh, walk over this way. Uh, oh, this in my hand? Uh, 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 nothing, but, you know. Not a gold watering can or anything. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not a gold watering can because uh, I might or might have not got five stars. Ah, oh, what's this? A random flower. Not, I've not seen this one before. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Shysters, and welcome back to Dewdrop, my hardcore sash hard mode. I realize that I've been calling it random things the whole time I've been playing, um, but welcome back. Uh, as you can see, something has changed. A lot has changed. I got five stars on this island, which is the ultimate goal of hardcore hard mode playing a bit more difficult than usual. Uh, so I thought I would do a review, a review of what I thought about playing this way. I actually got the watering can a wee while ago. It's not, uh, let me check actually. Yeah, so I got the watering can on the 19th of the second. I ended up with a bit of a backlog of videos and I'd filmed quite a lot expecting my <laughs> to be able to edit it all and then I couldn't. So I had a bit of a break from filming for you know, over a month, I think, and uh, I've just been playing. So I'll show you the new stuff that I've done. As you can see from the map, I've not actually sort of filled it all in yet. I've done some bits just because I couldn't help myself but decorate. And one of these areas is this by my house. So it's a bit random. Um, like this is a DIY, this gold watch, gotta put it somewhere. So here it lives. Um, but this is just by my house. I'm very happy with it. This is an area that I really love. I've got more farms. Uh, this whole island is dedicated to farms. I love my farms. Um, and then over here, we've just got, you know, food items, love them. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks very cute. I also brought in some designs I did on my very first island. So this here, these little walkie bits, and over here, this dandelion. This is a pattern I made when I first started playing Animal Crossing on the OG Dewdrop, my first island that I deleted, but I can still get the designs. Um, so let me show you a bit more. So we'll go this way. So I've also started working on outside of resident services. A lot of like, <laughs> there's so many gold DIYs. Like what, why do we need, why do we need? But uh, I don't know if you're aware, one of my rules is that I've got to display or well, make and display all the DIYs that I get. So they got to go somewhere and here they are. I like the side of this. I think it looks very majestic and still like fitting with the theme, but obviously I've done barely any of it. <laughs> so other bits that have changed, I'll walk down this way. So I've also changed, no surprises here, <laughs> I've changed the entrance. I can't help myself, I just change it. So I made this road path using someone's guide for making roads, which I will link down in the description. I, it was awesome. I really liked the guide. It was super easy to use and really helpful and it sets you up to be able to change things. So I made like this kind of cracked version so I could have the road breaking off. And the lighter version, I don't know, it was awesome. Really great. I would really recommend it if you're struggling with roads or wanting roads in certain colors. A really great guide. And then I did this little bit that goes around here. So yeah, little bits and pieces that I've done. Um, otherwise, I'm still planning to do a, a lot more builds on this island. Uh, so I thought now I would talk about my rules for hard mode, hardcore, whatever. Uh, review them and then I think I'm going to set like an official list, the list of the rules that I think are fun, uh, worth playing if you're experiencing a little bit of burnout uh, with Animal Crossing because I have still played this island every single day since I started the challenge and I think it's coming out, I think it's 97 days that I've been playing on this island and I really, really enjoyed it. There's a few things that I did that were a bit sneaky that, you know, made it a little easier, but uh, I think added to the fun. So I'll go through the list now um, and you can tell me what you think. The original tweet is by Little Kitty Gamer, and here are the rules here on the screen. So 
hopefully familiar if you've watched any of my previous videos. I did change a few. I made it less Nook Mile tickets and I made it one day for villagers giving you clothing uh, because I just have a poor memory. <laughs> and you get given a lot of clothing when you follow my other rules. So I added my own additional rules. So the big ones were that um, you had to craft every DIY that you get once and you have to use it somewhere on your island. So I couldn't craft multiple of the same item. I had to do it once and have it somewhere on my island. So if you look around, the only multiples are non-craftable items and not allowed codes. So every code on my island has been made by me. So I spent a long time doing that. And I did use, uh, as you saw before, use some old ones of mine as well, just because they were available and I made them. And then the other uh, additional rule is try and get villager photos before they leave. So that means every day, give them my villagers very expensive gifts. So they give me their photos. And you can see I've got a couple from villagers who have left. We've got Shep, Kelly and Tutu, but I did have a lot of villagers leave that did not give me their photos because they left too quickly <laughs> because it's in and out when you follow these rules. So these are my thoughts about this way of playing and things that I did that I changed that I think, caught, I don't know, made it better for me. So one of the big things when I started playing this way is that I actually time traveled a year by accident because I just had the settings set wrong on my partner's switch. So when I did that, I didn't realize this happened was the Captain Islands actually unlock all of them so that you can go to a Captain Island and you can get the different seasoned islands. So it means that I could get like different DIYs, which was really exciting. So um, I got, let me get up the old DIYs. So I could get things like these awesome ones, even though I haven't gone through autumn. And I know that that, I mean, it's, you know, cheating and for the rules, but <laughs> I think it actually made it way more exciting because it meant that going to Captain Islands, you could get a really exciting and rare DIY. So I got really excited about using the Captain Islands traps because I could get a DIY that would add, you know, a little flavor to my island. So I really like doing that and I definitely recommend it if you want to play this way. Um, the other thing was, uh, you know, looking back, I think the having to wear the outfits the villagers give you if you're doing what I did trying to get the photos that kind of sucks it's not a challenge it's just sort of more annoying so you don't get to wear fun outfits you just end up wearing some garbage all the time so I wasn't a big fan of that rule and if I was to play again I probably wouldn't do it if I was doing the trying to get villager photos also please look at this I have two of Midge's photos <laughs> Midge she isn't leaving and she's given me more photos. I don't even know how I got to. I think, actually, this is a good point to stop and have a look at the villages that I have. So I kind of stopped doing <laughs> videos about like villager hunts and who's at the campsite because it was like constant. <laughs> I'm constantly shifting out all my villages apart from uh, these two, the longest running residents, Midge and Nate. Um, my favorite, Gigi. She can't leave. I'm upset if she leaves. Um, but these are my new guys. So I've got Julian, Piper, Pee Wee, Poppy, and Muffy. And I believe like most of them, I think Poppy was from an island, but all of the rest of these guys, actually no, Piper also was from an island, but a lot of these are campsite villages. I just, you know, I had a big run of them all the time, constantly. So, um... I think if you're trying to get the photos, you just end up with so much garbage and having to wear just like the worst outfits. Um, but overall, I really love playing this way and I definitely will continue. There's a few things that I'd like to do. Um, like uh, I really want to go get the different fruits. I know I can go buy them other people's islands and that's not breaking the rules, but I just want to go get them from my other islands. It's so much easier because uh, look at this. I actually know this is where I sort the DIYs that I haven't made just because I don't have the items for them um, and as you can see all of the recipes are all just fruits that I don't have <laughs> it's so annoying <laughs> I just want the fruits um, but otherwise I'm pretty good like some of these I can make I just haven't I normally do it in like a big batch and like this is just an expensive item um, so I've got there uh, I'm still going to even though I've got five stars 
I haven't finished my island, so I want to still finish the island completely without terraforming and still using like one of each DIY item. I also have more Lily of the Valleys up here. I got three. I don't think I have five stars anymore because I uh, changed things around a little bit, but I still want to finish this island. I want to still do builds. I still want to adhere to the rules. I just want to wear outfits I like, which I'm wearing today. This is nothing is gifted today. This is all just, I want to wear this. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend if you are wanting to play Animal Crossing, but feeling weird burnout, I would definitely recommend giving this a go. The only thing, I guess it's, it depends, because I think with Animal Crossing, what's really nice about it is that you can play how you want to. Some people just like the decorating and would find it really stressful to have everybody moving out all the time and, you know, having a really limited sort of option with items. Whereas I like less options. <laughs> I don't like too many options. I find it very stressful to have to, um, you know, go through and decide what I'm going to build with. And I find it easier to be like, okay, I have this item and this item, so I'm going to try and build this and this. Um, so I think this style suits me. Um, so I don't know if you, you know, if that's something that you would think about, but I think it would definitely worth giving a go. And if you do give this style of playing a go, let me know because, uh, you know, am I the only one out here? Who knows? So to kind of wrap things up, I'll put down in the description my sort of final setup and series of rules that I think would be fun. Um, and let me know if you try them because I would be very interested. Uh, you're welcome to do the original version, my version, whatever suits. I think the thing with this kind of playing is that fun to have rules, but you don't want to like make, you know, make it so constrictive that it's not fun to play. Like you want to make the rules fun so it challenges you. That's kind of the point is being challenged in a fun way, like making the codes things like that. Um, so if say getting rid of all your villagers all the time is not fun for you, don't include that role, you know, just do what makes it fun for you to play. Um, but you know, you don't want to force yourself to play a game just because you, you know, you want something to play. You can have a break and that is fine too. Uh, but yeah, I'll be making more videos on this island. I'm really excited about it. Uh, if I decide that I don't want to play by a certain role, I'm not going to play by that role. You know, from now on, I'll just decide what I want to do based on what is the most fun. But yeah, I really appreciate you joining me. Here comes Pee Wee. Thank you, Pee Wee. Um, well, he's really just gonna walk in front. Are you just gonna do this, Pee Wee? Just gonna do that? Wow, that's very rude. But I really appreciate you watching my video. Um, leave me a comment or subscribe. That would be amazing. I would super, super appreciate it. Hopefully this video sounds a bit nicer. I actually, I purchased a new mic. This was a number three because the last two were both not very good. I tried my best, but unfortunately my best is not good enough. So I finally actually purchased a proper, a proper thing. So um, yeah, thank you so much. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I really appreciate it. Have a great one. Bye-bye.